Hi, this is Becky from Recovering from Mental Illness, and today I'm going to talk about how to call the police on an individual in crisis. Recently, my neighbor decided he wanted to enter my apartment without my permission. I slammed the door in his face and he stood out there talking to me. I told him to go away. He kept talking. I told him to go away or I would call the police. Fortunately, he left. But situations like that don't always have a happy ending. Sometimes you have to call the police. There's no other option. Usually this is in the case of danger to self or others. But any time there's a police encounter, there's always a chance it could end badly. So here's how to minimize the likelihood of a police confrontation turning violent. Number one, tell the police the person has a mental illness. If you're in a big city like my Indianapolis, you have a CIT officer. Ask for that officer to respond. But if you're in a city without a CIT program, then ask for more than one officer. This will allow for a show of force without the use of force. It's the same principle they use on an inpatient ward. If the person disagrees and something is needed to restore safety, the attendant and two or three others will go to the person and say, you can either do it voluntarily or we can do it for you and we can call for backup. Same principle works on the outside. It's a show of force and it gives the person a face-saving way out if they said one cop won't take them anywhere. Well, two might. It's also less likely to turn violent. Even a person in crisis has basic math ability. You can calculate the odds and see they're not in your favor. And if the, per the person in crisis sees there's more than one officer, there's also a chance for cooler heads to prevail because the more police there are, the more experience there is, and someone is likely to help a peaceful ending to the situation. Now the question comes of what you're going to do in the meantime while you're waiting for the police to come. And the first step is to remain calm. People who are actively symptomatic are often afraid. So don't do anything that would make them more afraid. Don't make any sudden movements. Try to ground them into reality by asking a concrete question such as what's your name, where do you live, how long have you been here. Just keep calm. Don't panic, they won't panic. And finally, explain that actions have consequences. Try to get the person to cooperate with the police or with whoever responds to the call. Try to get them to go to the psych ward voluntarily. And above all, maintain control of the situation. Don't let their delusions influence you. And don't let their emotions get too out of control. Keep calm. Try to keep them calm. Let them know the police are on their way to help. Anyway, that's all I've got to say on the subject. What do you think? How have you called the police on someone in crisis? Leave your comments in the comment section. Take care.